Hi, my name is Lars Lambert. I'm a certified divorce financial analyst and a certified financial planner. Thank you for tuning in today to learn about quadros. What I'm going to cover in the next few minutes includes what is a quadro? When do you use a quadro? When do you not use one? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of a quadro? First, what exactly is a quadro? Quadro is actually an abbreviation for a Qualified Domestic Relations Order. This is a legal document that is produced as part of a divorce. Quadros can be used to facilitate dividing certain retirement assets as part of a divorce. So when do you use a quadro and when do you not use a quadro? Quadros can be used to split 401k plans or 403b plans, deferred compensation plans, or thrift savings plans. In other words, most employer retirement plans can be split through a quadro. Quadros can also be utilized to split pension plans that are available either with some private employers or government or state agencies. Quadros are not used to split IRAs or Roth IRAs. It's a very important distinction. You don't actually need a quadro to split these documents once your divorce is finalized. Quadros are also not used to split non-retirement brokerage accounts, real estate, or bank accounts. So let's go through an example or a couple examples of how a quadro would work. In this particular case, uh, Susan has 800,000 in a 401k, Bob has 200,000 in a 401k. So they decide to set up a quadro. Susan transfers $300,000 into the quadro. And then Bob has access to that $300,000. Typically, when money is pulled out of a quadro, income taxes will be due. One unique advantage of quadros is that the 10% penalty is waived. Normally, when money is taken out of a retirement plan, if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you have to pay taxes plus a 10% penalty. That 10% penalty is waived for a quadro. So if, for example, Bob wanted to use some of that quadro for a down payment on a home, that 10% penalty would be waived. Another example, James has a pension of 80,000 a year and Annie does not have a pension. The quadro could be utilized to facilitate paying Annie 80, I'm sorry, 40,000 per year through the quadro. So when do you use a quadro? There's some advantages and disadvantages to consider. The main advantage is that a quadro allows you to, to facilitate, facilitates the splitting of retirement assets. Normally, retirement assets cannot be split without having to pay taxes on that distribution. So a quadro lets you do that without taxes. In addition, as I mentioned, the 10% penalty is waived when money is pulled out of the quadro. So there's some pretty good advantages. There's also some distinct disadvantages of a quadro. First, there are legal costs associated with it. A quadro is a legal document, so you have to pay an attorney to draft it for you. It also takes time to draft quadros. It's not uncommon for quadros to take several months. And a judge needs to sign off on the quadro. So it's a process that you go through. There may be alternatives in your divorce outside of setting up a quadro. As I talked about, IRAs and Roth IRAs can be split between spouses without needing a quadro. So if there's enough money in there, you could facilitate uh, transfers there. You can also consider splitting non-retirement assets. And if you have equity in your house, that might be taken into consideration. For example, maybe one spouse keeps their 401k and the other spouse gets to keep the house to, to equalize things. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, my name is Lars Lamrick. I'm a certified divorce financial analyst and a certified financial planner. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have questions or if you'd like to schedule a complimentary consultation. 